LA. I am currently getting Starbies, some Starbucks. I'm super excited. Um, I don't know why I get Starbucks like every day. I need an espresso. I really that like needs to be my top investment because I just spent so much money at Starbucks, but I love it. It's so good. Um, but today's video, today's video. What? What can I get for you today? As you guys saw, I just quickly showed my breakfast. I cooked me some eggs, some toast, and some sausage links. Um, love me some sausage links. Uh, basically, this video is going to be a getting back on track, whether you've been traveling, you're in a slump, unmotivated. We're just gonna get back on track, get our life together today, because I just got back from Texas. I got to shoot with Buff Bunny. Um, the vlog can't go up until all that stuff like that collection releases so that'll be a later like travel vlog just because i can't post it right now but i'm so excited i had so much fun heidi is like everyone that works there paige heidi emily like everyone i met that works at buff bunny is so sweet and they make you feel so comfortable and so empowering like heidi's all about women empowerment which i love she's such a huge inspiration and so to be able to meet her I just had so much fun and I'm hopefully speaking it out into existence, manifesting that I get to go back to Texas next month. Fingers crossed, y'all. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, so I just got my Starbucks. Um, it's an iced, a venti iced mocha, almond milk, no whipped cream, and then half the pumps of mocha. It's got like four shots of espresso, I think. I don't know, but it's so good. Let's just get into today's vlog. And don't forget to hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Bailey M. Stewart. And I'll, s yeah, I don't know the thing, but let's just get on into the video. So, step one of getting back on track for me this is getting back on track after traveling because anytime I travel it just always throws off my schedule and my routine and then when I get back I just I have the hardest time getting back into it so so step one we're gonna start with rehydrating my body because when I travel like flying and just like being on the go non-stop I get really dehydrated I forget to drink water so, and obviously water is super important. It, you know, has so many benefits for your muscles, your skin, your hair, literally so many benefits. Make sure we are drinking lots of water and rehydrating is so easy thanks to Hydrant. So thank you so much Hydrant for sponsoring this video. So Hydrant has three times the electrolytes of a traditional sports drink. I don't really drink Gatorade or anything like that, but I absolutely love these. They're so convenient. You can take them if you are traveling and know that you, like me, get dehydrated from like the plane or just you're so on the go you forget to drink. You can quickly just throw one of these packets in your water bottle and it tastes so good they also have lemonade so good these are definitely a must to put you know if you're at the gym you're on the go you're traveling and you know that you get really dehydrated or you just need something in your water that tastes good like flavored water i know a lot of people don't like to drink just straight water so if you are someone who loves flavored water definitely try i love these because it hydrates you faster than just drinking straight water and you get a yummy flavor and so the only has 25 calories and it's only four grams of sugar so it's not like you're adding a ton of like bad stuff to your drink it also has no artificial sweeteners and it's made with real fruit juice powder and these are available at Target, so if you don't have time to order them online, you can quickly run to Target, snag you some for if you need them on the go ASAP. Love Target. So we're gonna wash out my bottle, put some ice in here, some water, pour my packet, drink that because I'm feeling really dehydrated and hydrate really helps me rehydrate my body. And I just feel like when I pour one of these packets into my water, I feel hydrated a lot quicker than having to chug like 10 of these to finally feel hydrated. So happy to be working with them. I will have them linked down below. You can shop to hydrate yourselves too.
So I'm gonna drink this. They have a ton of other flavors too that you guys can try. But that is step one. I need to reply to some emails. Step two of getting back on track is working. Catching up on a lot of work because I currently right now don't have a laptop. I just have my Mac desk book. Desktop? <laughs> um, so obviously I can't take that on a plane with me or to go. So I will be getting a laptop probably today or tomorrow. I don't know yet um, just because I need it for when I'm traveling so that way I don't get behind on emails, videos, all that. I can just do it in my hotel room. But right now I have to not only reply to emails and send invoices, I have to um, film. I'm behind on a lot of videos, so your girl has to crack it out today. Um, so I got this super cute Buff Bunny book bag too that they let me take home. And I also have to film my Bowen Tea haul this video, I need to work out, like, there's so much I have to do. Just finished my emails, so now I have to film a few try on hauls, Bow and Tea, and then Frankie's. I have another one, but if I don't have time, I'll just do it another day. All I've done so far is my Bow and Tea haul. I am stressed. I still have to do my Frankie's, but I really need to just kind of like take a break, chill out, and do my to do list. I like to have my to do list, I like seeing it out in front of me writing it out i feel like it if i don't i don't do it i get like one out of like 10 things i need to get done done another step would like of getting back on track especially after traveling is grocery shopping like doing a big grocery haul restocking everything but because i technically don't have my mattress yet i haven't been buying groceries i've just been like eating at home because I'm not here 24 7 so i feel like i'm gonna like be throwing out and wasting a lot of groceries so until my mattress is here i'm not gonna do any big grocery hauls yet um, something i would normally do is replenish after a trip that way you can get back on track at eating healthy and then obviously once i'm done i'm gonna be going to the gym that is another way that i get back on track usually after a trip i'm either really motivated to get back in the gym grow or I'm in a slump for days, weeks, like I'm, I'm just not working out. Like it's either or basically. But after my shoot, I'm just so motivated to take my creatine, like start taking my creatine, eating more, eating more healthy foods because next time I go back to Texas, I want to be twice the size that I am now. Like I want to be thick and yeah. I just wasn't feeling my thickest on the shoot, so I'm really motivated after seeing that to get my body back to where I'm confident. So we're just gonna talk about how to get out of a slump. If, you know, you're just not feeling motivated, you don't wanna work out, it's really important to step one, find that motivation again. So whether that's buying, like one thing for me is buying cute new workout fits, that helps me tremendously. It doesn't help my credit card, but it does help me. Um, I feel more motivated and I feel like I push myself harder at the gym if I'm wearing something cute and I feel confident. And even like scroll, I know this, this can be toxic and this isn't something I recommend all the time, but sometimes for me, like just scrolling on TikTok and I see a baddie, you know, killing it in the gym, like that motivates me to go do the same. So sometimes it can be toxic, but sometimes it can also be super motivational. And even like switching up your routine, getting you excited to go back to the gym, like, oh, I want to try this today, or switching up, you know, oh, I'm, instead of weightlifting, I'm going to do this. Like, I feel like that can be a big motivating factor as well. Another thing that's super important for me is finding the right time to work out for you. So I'm not a morning person, like I'm not going to wake up at 6am, 5am and go work out. Like that's just not going to work for me. I'm not going to push myself 
when I'm at the gym, I'm not gonna want to go that early. Real, so I just have to be realistic. Like, yeah, I might see a 5 a.m. morning routine and this girl's killing it, going in the gym super early. But realistically, for me, that's not gonna stick. I know that, and I also don't like going late at night. I want to be in bed at that time. I don't push myself the same. I hate crowded gyms, so I like to go midday. So you just really have to find what works best for you. Even if you're not motivated, like not everyone is motivated 24 seven. There are days that I wake up and I don't want to go. I want to do the exact opposite, but it's about discipline. So you have to kind of keep yourself in that routine. You have to make it to the gym. That's the hardest part, Loki. Like there'll be days that it's like, I can work out. Like I'm like, all right, I'll work out, but it's getting ready and then going to the gym. That's literally the hardest part for me. So once you get there, you just, you know, results won't come with inconsistency. So just you know, be motivated, but still get to that gym because it takes like what, 30 days to form a habit. And then trying pre-workout, finding a good workout playlist. Like I, what motivates me to go to the gym, literally like hit leg day, is to listen to the fire playlist I just created. Like I'm not kidding, that's a huge motivator for me. Um, um oh my god my voice cracks in so many of my videos it's cringe but yeah so that is just kind of like some ideas some ways to get out of a workout slump and get back on track so after i finish all my work that'll be step three is going to the gym and getting back to your fitness grind and getting out of that workout slump I guess another step of getting back on track is writing it down, planning your day, planning your week. That really helps me get my life back on track is having a planner, whether it's on your phone or on paper. Just try writing down your stuff. It helps me tremendously. So I 10 out of 10 recommend it. Okay, so next step to getting my life together is obviously working out, but first you have to pick out a cute activewear set. So I'm going to be wearing the new Do You Even um, ombre set. They sent this to me. This is the, what is this, the orangey pinky ombre color. Yeah, this is the top, bottoms, they're leggings. So I'm going to get these on, get my pre-workout, and we're going to head to the gym. So I just got to the gym. This is step three. Four, I think four, I don't know, of getting back on track is obviously going to, the, well, for me, is going back to the gym. Like I said, I'm super motivated after that photo shoot because, you know, I need to get thick because I was looking scrawny and my body dysmorphia said, oh, oh you thought you were thick? Yeah, um, no. So, I need to bulk up. I need to hit legs. Another thing that helps motivate, not really motivate me, but like helps me get back in track, especially like if I'm in a rut, I, before I go to the gym, I write down my workouts. That way I go in, I know what I have to do. I know how many sets, get in, get out. That way I'm not like in the gym, like uh, what do I do next? It's just a very hectic, chaotic workout. So I did that. I have my workout written down. I'm also having, drinking my super carb. Uh, it's something I've been drinking. I need to drink it more. I only do it on leg days. I completely forget, but I need to be consistent with this stuff I don't, to see if it even works. I know it gives me a really good pump. Like when I drink this stuff, my quads look good. It is raining. It is not a nice day out, so. But I'm here, I made it. Sometimes when it is a nasty day out, I don't go to the gym because I'm like, it's raining, I can't go. I can't, oh my god, it's raining so hard. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with our warm up, which is mobility stretches. So basically, dynamic stretching, constant movement, and this just kind of helps increase range of motion. I have scoliosis, so this is super important before lifting because uh, my muscles are usually really tense. So I definitely need to warm them up. So I love doing this, and I'll do it for each movement for around two sets.
right, so first movement we're gonna be starting with is the Smith Machine Reverse Lunges. We're gonna be doing five sets. First set is gonna be body weight, just to kind of focus on our form and doing the movement correctly. And we're gonna be doing 15 since it is body weight. And then for our last four sets, we'll be adding weight and upping weight each set. If you have really bad balance like me, I prefer to do these on the Smith machine. I feel like it's a lot easier. My form is better because my balance is just so bad. I honestly struggle with doing just like dumbbells for this movement. So for these lunges, we want to make sure we're hip hinging, so basically pushing our hips back and leaning slightly more forward. So now we're gonna be doing hip thrusts, but this time we're gonna do frog pumps. So for these, you wanna have the soles of your feet touching. We're gonna to be doing five sets, 10, 10, eight, six reps, or until failure. If you can go longer, definitely push yourself, and we're gonna be upping our weight each set. So I definitely should have gotten a shorter like bench or a box because I think it was a little too high. So Okay, next we're gonna be doing squats. We're doing four sets of 10, 10, eight, six reps, and then going up in weight each set. I didn't wanna use the Smith machine. I've been trying to get better about using like the squat rack, but my gym was so crowded that night that yeah, Smith machine was like all I had available. And next, we're gonna be doing leg press, five sets of 12, 10, 10, and eight. Again, going up in weight each set. I don't like this leg press either, but this was the only one available, so I just kinda had to, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Next is gonna be leg extensions, four sets of 10, 10, eight, six. Again, going up in weight. I've been doing these pretty consistently and I honestly feel like this movement right here has contributed a lot to my quad growth. To me, Chipotle is like a good after workout meal. I personally feel like it's not too terrible for you. Um, it's good for the gains. So I got a burrito instead of a bowl. I just wasn't feeling a bowl. Because I hit legs. I, well, even if I don't hit legs, I'm not scared of carbs. I'm not scared of a little tortilla. Carnitas, brown rice, K 
queso, sour cream, cheese, guacamole, lettuce, and then the, um, the corn stuff. Uh, this is the Do You Even New Ombre set. And this is the Amplify, no, sorry, the Alpha Elite. Oh, what jacket is this? I don't know. I'll have it linked down below, but it's Alpha Elite. I just saw the colors that went nicely together. Uh -huh. We're going to eat this, so again, step five of getting back on track is fueling your body, eating um so i'm gonna eat this probably watch some tv i'm starting creatine i've never taken creatine before but i'm gonna be like tracking my progress and i know with creatine like everyone's been saying you have to drink a lot a lot of water because you can get dehydrated from it or something like that and so that's another benefit of drinking the hydrant packages because It'll hydrate me a lot faster than just chugging a lot of water. So again, I will have the hydrant packets linked down below so you can quickly shop and snag you some. All right, so since it's nighttime, I don't like to have, I like to have it a warmer tone. So, okay, that, <laughs> that didn't do anything. So we're just gonna do a warmer tone lamp to make it, I don't know, feel more cozy. Oh my god, 15 to 20 minutes. Self-care. 